Hi there, my name's Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onsite News Update for the second week of November 2020. Well, a special thanks to Janavco, our sponsor for our news. For more than 50 years, Janavco has been a reliable supplier to the construction industry here in the UAE. If you're looking to upgrade your equipment or add to your fleet, then please give the guys at Janavco a call. Well, in the news this week, the UAE cabinet last week approved the 2021 federal budget with an estimate spending of 58.113 billion dirhams. The federal budget was approved during a meeting held under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai. 9.6 billion dirhams, accounting for 15.7% of the 2021 budget, has been allocated to education, while 8.1% of the total budget will be allocated to the health sector, with necessary funds allotted to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. 4.5 billion dirhams, 7.4% of the budget, has been allocated for infrastructure and economy, while 19.3 billion dirhams of the total budget was allocated for social development. In Abu Dhabi, the Jebel Island Investment Company has awarded a major master planning and architectural services contract to the leading design expert DLR Group for the mixed-use community town center coming up in its Jebel Island development. The mixed-use development, estimated at 204 million US dollars, will have a build-up area of 1 million square feet. The town center will include facilities such as a community center, food and beverage and retail outlets, a family entertainment center, a worship center, a clinic, a supermarket and business center, and nurseries. While generous parking will be allocated for increased vehicle turnout expected during various functions that will be planned throughout the year. In addition, the town centre will be connected by a short walk through a landscape pedestrian spine to a beach club surrounded by upscale and trendy kiosks. Well, in Saudi Arabia, the National Agricultural Development Company, NADEC, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Pure Harvest Smart Farms Company to build and operate approximately six hectares of high-tech hydroponic climate-controlled greenhouses as a first phase within the Nadex city in Harad. This comes in a bid to produce and supply high-quality fresh vegetables and fruits to the Saudi Arabian market. Well, the renowned designer Jean Novel unveiled the new concept design for a world-first masterpiece resort hidden within the rock dwellings of Alula, the cultural oasis in northwest Saudi Arabia. The 2,000-year architectural legacy is being revived by Jean Novel for potentially the first time since the Nabataeans carved into the region's millions-year-old sandstone rock. The new resort is to be completed by 2024 and includes 40 guest suites and three resort villas. The retreat summit center near the resort will feature 14 private pavilions. In Egypt, Master Group has signed a contract to develop a tower covering an area of 3,800 square meters in the MU7 area in the new administrative capital. The new development will comprise of 16 floors, including commercial, hospitality and administrative services. The project's official launch will take place in 2021, according to the Master Group CEO, Mohammed Lassin. Well, as we are coming close to the end of what's been a very difficult year, we'll take a look at some of the major GCC markets in the next few weeks. Well, this week, we'd like to take a close look at the UAE, contractor awards and major players. The total value of projects awarded to contractors in the UAE in 2020 from January until October was 20.3 billion US dollars. And this value was split into three industry sectors, the building sector with 11.4 billion US dollars, the energy sector with 4.3 billion and infrastructure 4.6 billion dollars. Major clients who announced projects in 2020 from January to October include Modon Properties, the Federal Electricity and Water Authority, FIWA, Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, ADNOC, El Eif Group, 
and the Bruges Petroleum and Gas Investment Company. Major clients who awarded projects to contractors in 2020 from January through to October include Emirates Water and Electricity Company, Modon Properties, Masanada, Block 7 Investment LLC, and Etihad Rail. Major contractors who secured projects throughout 2020 include Cerbera Dimac Holdings, Aroma International Building Contracting LLC, BIC Contracting Vinci Construction Grants Projects, PSE Building Contracting LLC, and Galfar Engineering and Contracting. Well, that's it for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel so that we can keep you up to date with the most recent construction news throughout the region and all future developments here at Ventures On Site. Well, we hope this news update has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins, and this is Ventures On Site Live.